Hello everybody, uh, my name is Vivi Mark, I'm an energy psychologist for all of you who don't know me and my guest today is Crystal Sun. Crystal Sun is a music producer but also she's the founder of The Sun. Uh, we will be able to tell you more about The Sun community which is a very exciting news, something new for us and I'm sure that many many people will be find all the information we're going to give you today uh, very helpful okay we'll be talking about the struggles as we had as spiritual entrepreneurs oh uh, crystal is already here let me up here in give us a few seconds to prepare everything and i think it's a good idea to write down Hello, Crystal. Hi, Vivi. Hi. How, How are you me? doing? I'm good. I'm good. Give me one second. I just want to write the, um, the, the title of the live. So, struggles of... Oh, sorry. <laughs> just give me a few seconds. Of a spiritual entrepreneur. It's a long word. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and entrepreneur, <laughs> and sometimes it's so hard to write, to write entrepreneur. I always make a mistake. So, from this one. All right, good. How are you today? How are things? I'm doing fabulous. I'm doing good. Feeling good. And awesome. yeah, happy to be here with you. Yeah, likewise, likewise. So happy, so happy. We we'll have this conversation. I was just yeah. starting uh, with the introduction of you. I said you are a, a music producer. You're a singer, right? You're singing, right? Yeah. And yeah, so you're the a singer, producer, songwriter. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell us everything about you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's absolutely. So I'm a, I'm a singer, songwriter, music producer. So I basically produce uh, music for the spiritual community. I have a music library out now that's absolutely free. So you can download my music and you can mm -hmm. use it for any projects that you're working on. It's high vibrational music. Um, and I have some projects that I'm working on as well on the side. It's just an aspect of myself that I really have to feed as uh, an artist, as a musical person. Um, I'm also a founder of the Sun Community, which is a spiritually united network. And it's a place catered for spiritual entrepreneurs to really help grow their business and take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I'm going to say <laughs> many things about uh, the sun because I was just starting to say that I'm sure that many, many people will resonate and with all the struggles we uh, had been having as spiritual entrepreneurs. And I think that the sun is a place where anyone can come in, no matter what their level is, because sometimes it's not about someone who is starting now. It's more, uh, it's for everyone. Um, because you can be someone who is already, let's say, established, but you want to, to be with other people, you want to meet other people, because it's very, very important to, um, to feel like you are in a community. Um, things are changing rapidly, and it's good to have other people around you to support you. Hey, Jen. Absolutely. Hey, and, Jen. Hey, Ellen. Uh, hello. <laughs> hey. And unfortunately, one of the first things I want to say, if you want to start with that, is that in my case, I never had uh, support either from my family and sometimes from my friends. So that's why I think it's very, very important to, to find a community, like-minded people, where you can have like conversations with people who can actually understand you and uh, they're in the same phase. Absolutely. I agree. I, I feel like my life totally changed when I came online and I started meeting other spiritual people. And then the ones that were like really part of my soul tribe, they really stuck around and like you and Jed and Eleanor, pretty much everyone who's same. on this call right now. <laughs> um, it's just beautiful. You know, the community that we have, the people that we have around us. And yeah, on the sun, it's amazing because we have all of that support there and everyone is just so like-minded. So we can come there. It's a safe place. We can discuss what we have to discuss. We can get through what we have to get through together. And it's nice to know that you're not alone, especially, mm -hmm. you know, in this time, you know, it's just so hard with everything that's going on. People are struggling. People are losing their jobs. And, um, I just, I felt so strongly that, you know, the sun needed to create the space to give these spiritual op 
uh, entrepreneurs an opportunity to really take their business to the next level um, just because we don't want to continue to work our normal jobs, nine to five jobs that don't fulfill us. We really want to move forward on our path and live a life of purpose and be of service to others. Um, so yeah, that's the whole idea, you know, behind the mm -hmm. sun and why the sun was created. And also myself facing all of these struggles and these obstacles, it was just so difficult. So with keeping that in mind, it's like I struggled with finding a community. I struggled with you know, finding the right courses to take. I struggled with, you know, just how to piece everything together. And it's just, it's very comforting to know that you can go to a place and have everything you need, including the support and the community there. Because the community, I feel like, is, is probably the most valuable aspect, mm -hmm. you know, of it I all. agree. I absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. Because I've noticed for myself that since I started, uh, since I've met some people, then my work went into a different level because uh, in the beginning, and this is, I just want to share my story if that's okay. I, I had my spiritual awakening back in 2017. And, but I think everything started before that. I think in 2012, when uh, I lost my job, I, I used to work in a, a market research agency. Uh, I had a very, very stress, stressful job. I was working as an uh, online mar market research. <laughs> it was uh, online project management. So it was a very, very stressful job. And when I left from that company, I could feel like I didn't want to carry on like that. I didn't want to have a nine-to-five job. I wanted to do something more meaningful for me. And I felt like all the doors were closed <laughs> to my face, you know. And... I realized that I knew that I wanted to create something, um, something that was coming from within, something more meaningful, but I couldn't tell what was that. And I didn't know where to look for all this information. Uh, but I was very, very, I was lucky enough. So in 2017, I had my spiritual awakening. So I met some people who directed me in a way about going online and start creating my business. But still, in 2017 and 2018, that was like a, a, remote, a very, you know, a dream that I couldn't see or think of myself being an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. But uh, things changed. And I remember <laughs> putting the camera on, <laughs> you know, uh, on the stand. And I had nothing to say. I didn't know how to start. <laughs> I had no idea how to start and what kind of things to say. I didn't know. So it was very, very stressful because I was, I was feeling the internal pressure to create something, but I had no idea what was that, no idea whatsoever. And, but then I created my first video like uh, in 2019, uh, which was how to create a smoothie, <laughs> how to make a smoothie. <laughs> it was totally irrelevant. <laughs> but then my second video was about um, uh, how do you know you are a uh, light worker? Okay, so then I've realized that, yes, this is what I want to do. But yeah. still, it was like, you know, <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing, actually. And some, a few months passed by, and then, which I've done nothing. And then I met all the people, and all the people that, you know, we're spending time with now. And they had their struggles, I had my struggles. But actually, when we sat down and started talking about how we can move forward, everything changed mm -hmm. rapidly. Mm -hmm. um, I've started having subscribers, uh, new clients, uh, because I was missing so many information because I was trying to do it myself and I had um, no support and I didn't know where to look for support, even the basics. <laughs> I didn't know what kind of support I was looking for. Right, okay, right. so I had, I had training in EFT. Uh, I'm a trained EFT practitioner. But when you are being certified, uh, they are not really telling you how to build a business. You're just getting the certification. You are being uh, taught how, how to do EFT, but that's it. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to business, <laughs> it's a totally different story. And I was struggling with that. So... Right. I mean, I can definitely relate to that. I mean, for me, I was kind of all over the place, you know, when I first started out. Um, I grew up in Providence, Rhode Island, and 
there, I was mostly like artistic. I was just testing out my music and it really started to grow. You know, I, I started uh, recording and, you know, I put out a couple albums and I had the opportunity to really grow within the music industry. And there was always something about it that either didn't really work out or it didn't feel right. Just didn't feel mm. in alignment with me. And um, I had to go through a lot of phases in my life, you know, to learn this, this information, to learn who I truly am inside and what truly aligns with me. So there was a point where I was uh, living in my hometown and I'm just like, I, I can't take it anymore. I hit a dead end. I went through a lot there. You know, I lost a lot of friendships, relationships, and um, I was just lost and confused. I wasn't sure what to do. So I actually had a friend who moved to California and my friend was like, hey, you know, you should come to California and pursue your, your music career here. I think it would be a great place for you to come to. And, and we all think, oh, yeah, we need to go straight to Hollywood, right, to, to pursue <laughs> yeah. our dreams if you're into the creative arts. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to pack my bags. So I pack my bags and I moved from my hometown um, what to was California. That? that was in uh, around 2008. 2009 All right. around that time mm -hmm. um so i moved and i just brought my cat, <laughs> my cat. <laughs> so i brought her on the plane and everyone was so angry because this this girl was loud she was meowing the entire flight <laughs> i think it was like what like an eight hour flight she was, she oh was so my upset. god so <laughs> and there was a guy sitting next to me and he was just like he just looking at me like oh my god I can't believe I'm next to the crazy cat lady right now <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh and I remember getting off the flight and some person stood up and they're like oh my god you're the you're the one with the cat and I'm like sorry <laughs> and I just tried to get off the plane as fast as I could um and so yeah I moved to California and I started a whole new life and it just felt good it felt liberating it felt amazing it just felt like oh my god I can't believe I'm doing this because it was like my first time moving anywhere new mm -hmm. Um, so I just, I didn't know how I was going to get by. I quit my job. I didn't know how I was going to find work. Um, so it was scary, but I had a level of freedom inside where I just knew I would figure it out. And I did. And I also met my, my now husband out in California and he relocated for a job opportunity from around the same area where I was staying. So we're like, oh my God, we're like from the same area on the <laughs> coast. now we're here and we're meeting here so it was it was really like divine timing pretty amazing and the moment that I met him the moment I met him was like it's like something just shifted inside of me because he is my twin flame and they say when you connect with your your twin flame it really does shift something within you and it allows you to become more of your authentic self and it's a little bit of a struggle you know because we had to establish like the communication and just be very yeah, open and honest with each other. Um, but now we have an amazing, you know, relationship and we have an amazing daughter. Um, so yeah, we lived there for, for a while. I pursued my, my music there. And I also did some acting as well. So I was acting in, in like bigger films. I was getting, landing these roles and stuff and not like any major roles. It was, it was just like all stand in, you know, roles mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, and I started to really meet like really influential people within the industry and my career was just soaring, it was taking off and, and I reached the point where it's like, I can't do this anymore. It just, it didn't feel right. So mm -hmm. I completely stopped everything. And I said, I can't move forward unless I figure out what I truly desire, what I truly want, you know, to happen within my life. Nothing felt right. It was like, you, you, you think like, oh my gosh, you have like what mm -hmm. looks like this dream life. You think well, she should be happy, but I wasn't happy at all. Um, so that moment in time, I we lived in California for about almost 10 years for, for a while. Okay. And then we decided to relocate back to, to our home, home place. You know, not exactly mm -hmm. where we grew up, but, but around the area to start a family. And I'm like, well, I felt this burning desire to want to start a family. So I came back here, you know, we started a family and then there was still like this lack, this void inside. I'm like, something is still missing. Mm -hmm. So uh, since I have the experience with the acting and, you know, I have the experience in creative arts, I'm like, 
you know, it seems pretty cool. I want to get into making videos. And so, you know, I started getting deep into spirituality actually before I left California. Um, that's when I had my awakening. So I would mm -hmm. say um, maybe around 2010-ish, I started having my, my awakening happen. Um, All right. it, it comes in phases, right? So by the time I left California, I was, I feel like I was a completely different person, right? When I came here and when I moved back here, that's when things shifted even more to an even more heightened level. Um, and, you know, when I was here, I was still creating music. Um, and I also got into content creation and I started speaking about spirituality because it was something mm -hmm. that I was just so passionate about. And I really wanted to share my experience when it came to that. But the struggle I, you know, I face, like all of us face is like, how the heck do we get our content out there? How do we, mm -hmm. you know, get our voice out there? And how do I actually make money being a content creator with no products, with no services to offer? And that's part of the struggle and what I went through being here. And Arvel, my husband, he's like an expert at business and he's a business strategist. He's just he, amazing at what he does. So mm -hmm. he actually helped me with the business side of things. And I started figuring it out. It started clicking. It started making more and more sense to me. And as I was out within the community, I saw more and more people were struggling with this as well. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is, this is not fair there needs to be some sort of a solution to this, especially for spiritual entrepreneurs, because they're so needed now, especially at this time. And the thing is, they, most spiritual entrepreneurs feel extremely uncomfortable when you put them into like a business situation. So it's like, oh, they have to ask for money. They have to try to get clients and stuff. They mm -hmm. don't really want to be associated with that side of things. Um, so I was really trying to figure out, okay, how can we create something where we help grow these spiritual entrepreneurs to really get their voice out, to get their products out, to get their services out that are so desperately needed now at this time. And that was when the birth of like the sun came about, so to mm -hmm. speak, that idea just kind of um, came to me. And I started creating this community with, um, with Arvel. And then we had Jen come on, we had uh, Roy, come on. We had Vivi, Eleanor. I mean, all of you guys have been a part of it, Karen. Um, so without you guys, the sun would be absolutely nothing because we all um, contribute to it from our experience. So just us all being a part of this platform and contributing all of kind of like our hardships. So everything we've been through and what we have learned, we are bringing that onto the sun to help others through whatever challenges that they're facing. Um, so yeah, that's that's just a little. Mm -hmm. yeah, what do you little... What do you think is the, the main challenge for a spiritual entrepreneurs? What is what I, makes it? Yeah, I feel yeah. like I, I feel like the main challenge is making money. Mm -hmm. um, there's all there's always block when it comes to making money. And Vivi, I mean, you can talk about this all day because most, most of your clients that you deal with, they have money blocks and usually money blocks that has nothing to do with money. You know, it's everything to do with maybe programming of what happened when they were younger or, you know, they just have this subconscious belief that they cannot make money, that they're not worthy or, you know, so on and so mm -hmm. forth. Um, that's the number one struggle, making money as well as, um, being more business, you know, because a lot mm -hmm. of uh, spiritual entrepreneurs don't want to seem like they're coming across from like, like a place of, of ego, you know, and self-centeredness, mm -hmm. um, because it goes against what they believe in and what they're in alignment with. And what we teach on the sun is it's absolutely, there's absolutely nothing wrong with making money there's absolutely nothing wrong with putting your products and services out there because at the end of the day what everyone has to understand is this is needed and also as a spiritual entrepreneur you have to make money so in order to have your products and services out there and have it thrive and have it be something that you know everyone can benefit from the spiritual entrepreneur has to get paid, you know, they have to get mm -hmm. paid and they have to have some level of happiness and freedom in their life to continue to create. So it's more like energetic. So you have mm -hmm. to look at, at money as, as energy is coming in 
and it's feeding you and you're also feeding, uh, you know, other people out there who really need your help. Um, mm -hmm. And I just think it's so important right now, especially at this time, there's so many talented uh, spiritual entrepreneurs out there who have products and services that they're offering that the world needs at this time because the world is shifting before our eyes. It's shifting and changing and it's turning into more of a natural society, especially we watch what happened during COVID and how everything collapsed. Do we really want to be dependent on a society, you know, that's like, all right, let me just trust the government. I don't mm -hmm. trust the government. I absolutely mm -hmm. don't trust the government. I want to be able to be self-reliant um, and be able to understand about the natural resources and the natural uh, products and services that are out there to help us survive on a day-to-day -day basis and help us to become a better society without having to depend on something mm -hmm. that is meant to break us down, you know, rather than mm -hmm. help us to um, elevate uh, as, mm -hmm. a, as a species, you know, here on this planet. Mm -hmm. I absolutely agree with you. And this is something I can see is that um, I think... When you have your spiritual awakening, um, there is a period of yourself. There is a period when you are not grounded, <laughs> and it's very, very. It's part of the process. I'm not uh, criticizing that, of course. Is that we? I mean, I've been there. That was my huge struggle, and I was thinking that I don't need to do anything. Everything will happen through me. And I was either rejecting the idea of creating money or having money or charging. And to be honest with you, for many, many years, I was offering if these sessions for free, <laughs> I wasn't getting paid. Because I was thinking that if I do something like that, I shouldn't be pay being paid. This should be given exactly. for free, which is obviously is not sustainable. And it doesn't create commitment at the, <laughs> uh, at the same time. Because... Um, if someone comes to you, of course, many, many people are struggling with money nowadays. But at the same time, you need to value your work. You need to vi value yourself and your time. If you don't do that, it's not going to work. Um, right. So I can say this is one of the, 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 I think this is the main challenge, uh, creating money. And I'm not saying making money. I'm saying creating money. Right. And when I say creating money is that when you create something that is going to give you money. So just sometimes being certified in a specific modality is not enough. You need to create something in order to receive. Okay, mm -hmm. so you need either to create uh, products, clients, sometimes needs. <laughs> but I think that um, uh, most spiritual in uh, entrepreneurs need to understand that the business side, uh, that if they want to have a sustainable business, they need to, to see their business as a business. They need to be practical at the same time. So I think right. that if you find the balance between doing and receiving, and when I say receiving is living through the spiritual life, all these spiritual truths, but at the same time do all the practical things that you need to do in order to sustain your business, this is, I think, the model that works, to find the right balance. Um, Right. By, on the other hand, if you are just doing, doing, doing and not connecting with yourself and who you really are, you're just doing something that sometimes it's logical. It's not coming from the heart. So I think that the right recipe is to do things that actually are aligned with you, with your higher self, with your mission, with you, who you really are. And in order to do that, you need to find a balance. I think that's the main challenge and the main difficulty. And work with yourself so, a lot. Yeah. yeah. Things won't happen Absolutely. if you just, with law of attraction, just visualizing. It's not going to happen. You need to do the work. I really love and... that, baby. I really love that creating. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's, it really is all energetic. All exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes it's not enough. Um, that's why I'm saying that... Uh, you need to find the balance and just visualizing or having positive thoughts is not going to take you anywhere. You need to do the practical work. Mm -hmm. And when I say practical work, I'm exactly. talking about practical emotional work like therapy and at the same time, mm -hmm. practical stuff about your business. Um, I mean, for example, I'll give you an example. It was funny, but actually this is a big thing, okay? So I have my website, but 
one thing that I didn't have, which is against the law, was the cookies. <laughs> I didn't activate cookies <laughs> in my website. I didn't have a, a privacy policy. And the other one was the terms and conditions. All websites should have that. It's against the law not to have that. But at some point I was thinking, okay, I'll be fine. And, you know, if I'm not thinking about it, I won't attract, you know, <laughs> a, a nasty lawyers, uh, you know, online lawyers who are checking right. websites for these kind of things. No, you need to do that. You need to be there. You need to be practical as well. This is part of the process. Find the balance is pra- part of the process. It is, it is important. Yeah. And these are small details you don't pay attention to. But imagine if you are going through anything in your life. You, you have some difficulties. And then you, you receive a fine just because you don't have <laughs> the cookies activated or you don't have privacy policy. Imagine that. Right. That you is, don't that's have to. That's a great example. Yeah. That's a great example. I mean, yeah, there's so many key elements that go into creating a business. And it gets a little bit more complicated especially when you're coming from a spiritual place because there's so much balancing that you need to do when it comes to that Mm -hmm. um that place of alignment where you're in alignment with your heart space as well as your mind because you have to use your mind right um Mm -hmm. and finding a way to get through all of these blocks so clearing what you need to clear continuously going through the process of discovering newer versions of yourself because as a spiritual person, you, you grow. Most of us do grow. We grow into newer versions of ourselves and we have to, and because of that, our business grows along with us. So sometimes Mm -hmm. we leave something out. So our business or maybe our being will not be aligned with the business that we were doing like a few months ago because, you know, something shifted within us. So it's this constant, just balancing act, balancing out the pieces, figuring out what it is, you know, we need to continuously shift around. It's like playing chess, you know, so you have to continuously just keep playing the game, just keep moving forward, just keep strategy, making the right moves. Mm -hmm. I mean, logically, right, but as well as energetically. So it's, it's a tough balance, right, but it can be done. Um, We are, yes, we're, we're in these human bodies, and we have the power of logic, but we also have the power of energy. And we have the power to combine mm-hmm. the two together. Um, we're all creative beings. We all have the power to create and we have the power to destroy. So, <laughs> you know, exactly. it's really, you know, it's really on us and how far we want to take it and what we're aware of. It's just about, you know, being in the moment and having that full awareness and just having the acceptance. Mm-hmm. Um and continuously moving forward. It's when, when it's time to get to work, get to work. When it's time to take your breaks, take your breaks. When it's time to work on your energy, work on your energy. So day in, day out, that's just the life of a spiritual, you know, entrepreneur. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Well, uh, one other challenge that I want to mention is that, um, not in the initial stage of stages of my awakening, but shortly afterwards, I went into depression. And it was really, really hard for me. It was the dark night of the soul. We all know it like that. And I knew that I had to build a business, but I was feeling so bad about myself. All right. It was so bad. I just wanted to lie down in my bed and do nothing. And I, I understand that sometimes many of the spiritual entrepreneurs need, they have faces like that where they go, to, they go into you know, depression, short episodes. I'm not talking about, you know, uh, months when you cannot do that, but it can be days or weeks. At the same time, you need uh, to be consistent with your business. And that makes it very, very, very hard. And I think that was my biggest, I think that was, I think that was my biggest challenge. How to sustain a business when at the same time you're going through all that. But then I found when I started meeting all these people, I started feeling better because every time I had, I, I was, I, I would read like, I don't know, uh, the energy update. So I would know that, you know, it's not about me. <laughs> Something's happening here. It applies to everyone. Like the ones you are setting very often, very every week, right? You are setting the every, energy. Every week, yeah, actually, I, every I'm week. posting one, awesome. one today. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, already. No, this is very, very helpful, you know, when you read something like that, because you know that you're not going crazy. You, something is happening, you know, in the planet exactly. energetically. And at the same time, when you have other people who are going through similar uh, stuff or they have already gone through um, situations where for you, you are going through them now, uh, they're able, able to help you. And this is huge. This is huge. Because it can feel very lonely. So that's why it's very important to have a support network. And I think that's why I'm so excited about the sun. Because it's not, and this is something I've been saying again and again, it's not about the technical, the practical stuff. It's not about how to build your YouTube or your Instagram, the right strategy. It's not just that. You need to have the support. Sometimes there are days that can be very, very, very hard. It's important to have the support network. And this is exactly what we offer in the sun, all right? We offer, it's, it's a complete, complete package, you know? You are not alone. You can go somewhere and you can have everything in one place. This is a complete, complete, okay? So I think that it's important to have communities like this one, like the sun. Yeah, and um, the thing is, too, what I wanted to bring up is most of us just, we don't want to spend a lot of our time on Facebook or mm -hmm. Instagram. Exactly. If we go there, we use it as a tool. You know, it's mm -hmm. something that we can just use to put our information out there. But we don't want to spend all day scrolling. And I do that a lot while I'll stay on Facebook and I'm just scrolling. And a lot of stuff I just don't really want to see. And, you know, <laughs> it's just, it, it feels like it's a waste of my time. Um, within the Sun community, it's such a different, uh, like a vibration. So when you come in, it's a different frequency because you know you're going there and you're surrounded by a like-minded community so it's not mixed where it's like I go on Facebook and I go to these certain groups and when I'm not in these groups I don't really like to be on Facebook it's it's literally like okay I'm on the sun I'm in this amazing community with all these people who just love me and I just want to spend a lot of time here and I feel good I feel comfortable here I can share all of my emotions all of my feelings I can grow my business here like it's like everything you need it's so amazing um so I'm happy you brought that up, VV, because that was definitely on my mind as well. You know, when I, when I came up with this idea of the, of a spiritual community, it's like, okay, so, so what's going to make this different from, say, going on a Facebook or, you know, going into just like a, a normal day-to-day -day community? What makes it so special? And that's exactly it. It's, it's the energy. It's the energy that we put into the community. It's the belief system that we have. Um, all of us within the community who, who are building out the community, we're putting a certain energy into it. And everyone who comes in, they can pick up on that. And you kind of go in there and you feel like, wow, I feel so good when I come, you know, onto this platform yeah. versus you go on Facebook, you just, you're left with this gunky, icky feeling. And you need to just stage yourself, you know, to get rid of mm -hmm. that. <laughs> yes, that exactly. Exactly. And not just that, um, my other difficulty is that when I was building my business, I had to go because I had no idea and I couldn't afford to to buy, you know, a course or something on how to build my business. So I had to do everything myself. And I remember I was spending uh, days <laughs> watching YouTube videos to find the right one that will give me the right information. So uh, I remember I have wasted months and months and months in order to do something and I was using different platforms that they were not helpful but I had no idea so when you go to a community to a platform okay so and you get all the information everything in one place everything in one place you don't need to go out there and look for something different because you're going to get the most important information all right so you can do it yourself if you can afford anything else to pay thousands and thousands and thousands in courses, all right, that they don't offer you anything or they give you a rough idea about how to do something. It's not going to work. Yeah, but yeah. coming to the sun, all right, so you have um, everything is evolving. Everything is changing, okay? And you can find everything in one place. For me, that was the, the, the most amazing thing. I, you don't have to to go on YouTube, to, to look for um, offers or courses or everything is in one place. And I keep saying that. This is important. Uh, so if you are someone, all right, who wants to start now, cannot really 
have money to spend thousands and thousands uh, of dollars of finding what they want to do, they can come to the sun with fifty dollars. This is the the price of the membership, right? laugh at that that's nothing like people pay more it's money for laughable actually <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but, yeah if you if you think how much money you pay to do courses that they don't actually help you 50 dollars is nothing <laughs> yeah but you get so much support in all levels yeah and that's that's the thing Vivi, with with me oh my gosh i struggle so much it's like i'm I'm going and I'm spending money. I'm spending so much money. I'm spending this money. I'm taking these courses. And then some of the courses I take and I'm so angry because I just spent a thousand dollars and all the information was outdated. It's like mm-hmm. they just ripped me off and there's nothing I can do about it. I, I spent the money yeah. and now because of that, I have to go out and I have to find more courses or I have to, well, in my case, I didn't. I went on YouTube and I tried to search for videos and then hoping that I could trust the people on YouTube and making sure that that information was up to date. And the thing is, the the algorithm is consistently changing within these platforms oh, yes. on Instagram, every week. on Facebook, <laughs> on every week. There's always something new coming out. Um, so the, the, the beauty of having... Um, you know, tutorial videos and courses in one place is the community because the community can call it out and let you know like, hey, this isn't accurate anymore. And it lets the course creator know like, oh, well, maybe I should go in and actually update my courses. So when you have active hosts on the platform and course creators on the platform that are there that are walking you through things and also listening to the community's feedback, it's such a huge win. We all grow together. So we're all feeding this network. It's not just like, oh, I'm, I'm the creator of the sun. So it's, it's all my job. No, it's, it's all of us feeding each other. Mm-hmm. It's this place where we're all just one and we're all connecting. We're all growing together. You know, there's no, oh, I'm better than you. You're better than me. It's, mm-hmm. it's literally, we're all helping each other out. So that's what I really love about um, this community. Cause you see in other communities, there'll be um, someone will create a community and they won't be very interactive um, mm-hmm. or they may have a course and they create a community and they're not very interactive with their students and with people who are paying them thousands of dollars. Um, but you have to take into consideration that they may not have the time to do that, right? But I feel that as a leader, you should take the time to get to know people who are investing in you investing mm-hmm. like paying you money even if it's just like a, a check-in where maybe you you get together once a month and you check in on all of your students and you make sure that your content that you're feeding out to your students is is up to date and something that's that's really valuable and you know and helping because that's what it's really all about when you're within this community everyone is just helping each other and That was a big deal for me because I understand what that's like. I've been on the other side and I want every single person who is part of this sun network to feel like they belong, to feel like their voice is being heard, to feel like they are getting the help that they are here to get because they deserve it. And it's really our time right now to step forward. I cannot stress this enough and I feel it within my heart and I know that it's time and I can't stress it enough that it's just, it's so important to have that community. It's so important to know that you're learning the right tactics, you're learning the, the right strategies so that you don't have to waste your time. Cause none of us, at the end of the day, none of us really want to waste our time. And I had to learn the hard way. I wasted a lot of time. I expended a lot of energy and you know, I'll say it, I am a leader. And as a leader, this is just something that we go through, that we have to go Mm -hmm. through, that we have to learn from in order to help others. And a lot Mm -hmm. of you out there are leaders as well, okay? And you may have experienced the same struggles as well. And you should understand this, right? We have to learn the hard way in order to help others um, grow so that they don't have to go through the same obstacles. So that's something that's Mm -hmm. really important for me within the Sun Network to offer uh, solutions to any problems, you know, that you mm-hmm. may be facing as a spiritual entrepreneur out there. Um, so yeah, that was just, just I absolutely agree. And the other thing about the sun is quite interactive. So it's not about you just get to the platform and you just take the courses, but also you can 
you know, um, sorry, I just want to wave. <laughs> I did. Hi, <laughs> David. I did something else. <laughs> All right. Um, so, people who are coming to the sun, so they can post their their videos if they are creating videos, their content in the, in general. Okay, they can um, promote their products through the sun. So, yeah. what else can they do? Tell us a few things about that. Yeah, so you get free engagement support. So when you come mm -hmm. on to the Sun platform, you can post, like, say you have videos on YouTube, you have posts on Instagram, or mm -hmm. even Facebook. We mainly focus on Instagram and uh, YouTube to help with the algorithm, right? So you could post, say you have a post on Instagram, you post it in the Sun, you say, hey, guys, I just posted on Instagram. And all of your fellow members will come. They'll come onto your Instagram post and they'll help support with engagement, meaning they'll leave some comments, they'll like. So we mm -hmm. all really were supportive that way. We'll share each other's posts. And that really helps to get the algorithm to work in our favor. And it helps to attract more followers into your circle and more like-minded people. Because you have to remember, too, this is um, it has to do with your niche. So within mm -hmm. this community, we're all pretty much in the same niche with spiritual entrepreneurs. So when you get more people liking and commenting who are within the spiritual community, it will put it out in the algorithm to attract more people within the spiritual community. So it, it works It works beautifully. And that's a free way to promote yourself without having to spend, you know, I don't know, three to five dollars on to promote yeah. your post, which does absolutely nothing. And it attracts all the wrong people. <laughs> exactly. Unless you're a marketing expert and you know all the ins and outs and how to mm -hmm. get it to work for you. It's it's a struggle. And most of the time mm -hmm. it doesn't work. So that's one of the things we offer on the platform. So it's engagement support. We have up to date courses with very active course instructors on the platform who will help walk you through every step of the way of the process. If you have any questions, you can ask them directly and they'll help you through anything that you need, um, as well as the community. So you can see what other people uh, are taking the course as well. You can connect with them. Um, so it mm -hmm. makes it almost impossible for you not to understand what you're learning and to apply it as well. So you, you're held accountable for everything. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It just takes you taking that action to actually take the course and to actually, you know, watch the tutorial videos that we have as well. So we have a topic section, which breaks down um, just basic things that you need to learn about when it comes to uh, promoting your your products and your services, um, to creating Instagram um, content, as well as, you know, content on YouTube. So everything is listed out to really help you grow and help you learn. All the tools you need are there to grow your business. Um, let me think. So we have courses, we have tutorial videos, we have engagement support. We also have um, live events every single mm -hmm. month. We have a mastermind event, which we had one that just passed, which was amazing. We all come together, we share our ideas, we share our struggles, everything we're battling with, and we come up with solutions together and we grow together. It's pretty amazing. We also have live Q&A calls where you can come on and ask any questions and they will be answered during that call by experts. And speak about experts, we have um, planned guests, surprise guests that are will be coming onto the platform to talk about, um, say like marketing, uh, promotions, mm -hmm. you know, how to promote your business. And we'll, we'll be bringing on these. Also, we have another guest I have to bring up um, who is an expert at social media. So he actually manages um, accounts that have uh, millions of followers and we're actually, we'll bring him on. So yeah, we have a long list of, of guests mm -hmm. that we'll be bringing on that I'm very excited about um, that we're partnering with, um, as well as you can promote your products and our services within the community. So we'll do it for free. We'll post your product and our service within the community. And what that does is it helps to give you a kickstart because most of us um, within the spiritual community, our target is other spiritual entrepreneurs, right? Mm -hmm. So say, you know, Vivi, like Vivi uh, offers EFT sessions. So I know a lot of people within the spiritual community are extremely, extremely interested in having mm -hmm. a session, you know, an EFT with Vivi so they can book a session directly in the sun with her. And mm -hmm. um that's the beauty of being part of this community is you have all the support, you have all of the, the knowledge, everything you need all in one place. Mm -hmm. um, and then and we just have fun, fun time yeah. where you could just post whatever you want. It's, it's similar to Facebook. So you can come in and post whatever you want, share, you can ask questions. So yeah, <laughs> that's a little breakdown. It, of the sun. 
something about what you said. So, for example, um, I'm doing EFT, all right? I'm an EFT practitioner. Uh, I offer um, sessions, discounted sessions to uh, subs- you know, uh, members of the sun. And it's not just that. Sometimes you may have um, an exchange. So let's say someone is doing, I don't know, holistic health therapy or something like that. And they can offer me a session. I can offer them a session in, you know, in exchange. So Mm -hmm. you can find ways. It's not about only, um, (coughs) sorry, I think the most important thing is to find like-minded people. When you find these like-minded people, it's um, you are able to help, to be helped in many different ways. Okay, okay? so okay. it's not just the technical support. Sorry for that. <coughs> okay, something. Sorry, just give me one second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely not just Excellent. about the technical support. You're right. It's um, and another thing it's, I um, wanted to bring up too is the joint. Um, collaborations and partnerships that you can form within the community too. So it's it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So if, for example, you need a practitioner, you want to do something specifically, you can find because we have a list of all the members and exactly what they're doing. And I'm sure that because I can see that and this is happening all the time. So let's say that I have I have something in mind and I cannot really solve it. Let's say an idea. I'm not really sure how, where to ask for support. But when you have a community, you can see the specialties there. So you can go either to a EFT practitioner or a hypnotherapist, a holistic health uh, practitioner. You can go, we have so many different uh, specialties there. So you will find what you need. It's like, I need help. Yeah. (laughs) And like you said, you can do an exchange. It's like, okay, I'll make you some music for your content and you'll give me an EFT exactly. session. I mean, we've done it already, right? Within the community. Testimonials. So testimonials place. are important. Yeah. And we, we help each other build that, that up as well. So we'll mm-hmm. offer testimonials in exchange, which helps to really, really build your brand. So we're a community. We all got each other. We're going to build each other up and we help um, build each other up so that we're able to attract in more clients basically. Right. So yeah. That's, yes. That's, yeah, because we need, you know, I, think, I think we need to mention that because sometimes uh, the, because the help can come from different places, <laughs> you know, it can be yeah. uh, right. through a video you're going to watch, through uh, another practitioner, you're going to go on a Q&A and someone will say something and that would be the answer to what you were looking for. So I think it's very, very important to belong to a group and do things together. I think that changes everything. Absolutely. And the Absolutely. speed that things yeah. are happening. It will happen uh, much faster. Much faster. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Guys, uh, shall we ask for questions? Do you want to add something? Um, yeah, let us know if you have any questions. Guys, any questions? Jen, sorry, we didn't reply to your comments. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I love that Jen's first comment when she says that you were talking about your cat. <laughs> and Jen said, oh, oh <laughs> it's better than a crying baby. Okay, no worries. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Guys, any questions? Anything you want to ask us here? You want to ask Crystal about the sun? You want to ask me? Anything I can help you with before we close? No, they're so shy. <laughs> All right, um, it's okay. That's absolutely fine. All right, uh, Crystal, thank you so so much for joining me today. Um, we are going to upload this video is going to be here in the in Instagram, but it's also is going to be on YouTube. Gonna upload it there, and it's going to be in the Sun as well. Um, so yeah. yeah. If I'm going to, I'm, yes, Stella, sorry, just a friend. <laughs> and I'm going to put the link for the sun underneath in the description box. So if anyone wants to join, if they have any questions, please let us know. And yeah. I think we let are ready know. to we're person. here. You can, yep. yeah, you can definitely message me directly if you have any questions or want to know yeah, more absolutely. about the sun community. I can definitely, you know, help you out with whatever you need. 
Thank you. All right, Vivi. Well, thank you for having me on. It was so much fun talking to you today. Thank you. Thank you. It was, it was you, great. You have a great, great evening. It's evening for you, right? Right now? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. And you, yeah. What, what time is there? It's 12.30? Yeah, afternoon. Your time? About 12 afternoon. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so have a great day then. <laughs> okay. Thanks, great. Vivi. Great. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you for joining Bye. us. Lots of love. Bye. Bye.